Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Commissioner-designate, in your mission letter, the Commission President-designate says that Europe needs to manage migration better in all its aspects. Well, I'm afraid that my constituents would agree. They often air concerns related to further immigration to Europe, and we must face it and justify our principles and values you were also referring to. Therefore, I have two questions. What do you intend to do in cooperation with member states to improve integration of immigrants for the benefit of all? And how do you intend to enhance and influence the debate, the public debate on this issue? Because if parties which uh, are fighting on the anti-immigration platforms start to complicate formation of governments in EU member states or even be part of the governments, it will be far too late. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jezek. It's clear that there are some political forces in Europe that exploit uh, the poverty, the crisis, the misery and deprivation of uh, people. And they base their proposals on populism, which is one of the worst forms of politics. This is an issue. I believe that when the uh, reasons for the crisis are gradually overcome, and also the external threats that we are facing, and the escalating crisis in uh, regions of high insecurity, or the arc from Tunisia to Ukraine, I believe that when all these will be overcome, then this populism will um, subside because uh, Europe has a deeply democratic culture. Europe has suffered from dictatorships, from fascism that led to terrible disasters. And this is so the respect for freedom and democracy is in the European DNA. I believe that such forces have no future in Europe. So this is my answer. The solution is Europe, a Europe of solidarity, and through the policies that we have uh, mentioned until now, the promotion of our fundamental values. This is the major responsibility, irrespective of our uh, position, whether we are in the uh, European Parliament or national parliaments. I think that uh, I was clear about the dangers we are facing. But we should, not, we should not be scared. I think that we should not be scared as democratic Europe. We should not be scared of all xenophobes and racists.